Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Kim. This is practice one, naming alkanes. So we're going to learn how to name organic compounds. First of all, uh, we have to learn this Greek prefix. Okay, and all of this number one to number ten, this is number of carbon. There's one carbon to ten, car twelve carbons. These are the prefixes, Greek prefixes, and we should memorize this. So, so instead of number, we'll use this prefix to count number of carbons. Okay? So, number one, meth. Number two, eth. Number three, probe, bute, pent, hex, hept, opt, non, de, unde, dode. So, for carbon number one, so one carbon compound, this is all for alkanes. Alkanes are hydrocarbons with CnH2n plus 2 formula. So for example, you have one carbon, then put one um, instead of N, then you'll have four hydrogens. So CH4 or C2H6 here are the formulas. With one carbon, one carbon compound and its alkane that's the suffix for functional group most of the time functional group comes to the end of the uh, name so we put a and e for alkanes and there's one carbon so this ipec name for this compound is methane meth and we put a and e so methane. And for second one, two carbon, it's F, ethane. Then propane, butane, pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, nonane, Decane, undecane, undecane for eleven, and dodecane for twelve. I'm sorry. Sorry for the adjustment. Sometimes this happens. I hope this right now the screen is okay. The structure of this one carbon you, you, we use dot for carbon so that's the CH4 structure skeletal structure for ethane two carbon we don't write C for carbon we don't write we don't draw CH bonds so that is methane this is ethane propane butane for carbon pentane hexane 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbon, hexane, heptane, octane. Is there a way starting going down bond or up bond? No, it's just number of carbons are important. So numbers are important. This uh, going down or going up, both are fine. Okay, no name, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, decane, that's decane, undecane, dodecane, so 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 carbon in a row. So that's independent compounds. If this compound is part of uh, if this compound is part of a branch we use a YL as a branch name so CH4 carbon has four bond CH4 alone and there are four CH bonds but when it's connected to something instead of one H there's carbon connected then the leftover 
part is CH3 with one bond okay and something is there then we'll consider this as a branch then the branch name will be YL with the same prefix so this is going to be meth and YL methyl then ethyl then pro pill butyl pent YL pentyl hexyl heptyl octyl nonyl and it's not decyl it's decyl undecyl dodecyl okay when this branch CH3 is methyl methyl branch has oxygen in between so there is a bond and an oxygen and methyl we use uh, oxy it's not prefix yeah it's prefix after this is a prefix this is suffix but there is still a name so instead of methyl there is one more oxygen in between so we'll use this meth oxy so methoxy has oxygen and methyl group oxygen and ethyl group is ethoxy then same propoxy so we put oxy there then butoxy pentoxy exoxy heptoxy octoxy nonoxy decoxy undecoxy do decoxy so these are very basic names for hydrocarbons okay alkanes so methane to the decane and when it's branch we put yl instead of a n e and there is oxygen in between then we use o x y oxy so it's methoxy to decoxy so you should memorize this 1 to 12 and when you see a, an organic compound that has five carbon then probably it's it ends with pentane it depends on the branch but the name will end uh, as something something pentane okay so that's the first step uh, let's look at some common compounds common name so this is connected to something so this wavy line means it's connected to some big part of the molecule so here what is the branch of this okay there are one two three carbon three carbon means propane and it's a branch so it's propyl okay so it's propyl but this is a little bit different normal propyl will have one two three one two three three carbons in a row then it's called propyl and this is called normal propyl and propyl but here the second carbon is connected to the rest part of the molecule the connections are different this one we call isopropyl so we put iso prefix for that the characteristic of any iso compound is isopropyl isobutyl isopentyl that all ends with the terminal shape y shape three carbon at the end and it has y shape that we call iso and there is no hyphen this is now one word isopropyl so that's different this n propyl there is hyphen no more propyl but isopropyl is a one word i word okay let's look next this is 
uh, branch with four carbon. Four carbon means butyl. And they are all connected in a row. So it's normal butyl or n butyl. It's normal butyl or n butyl. Okay. Next, this is also, uh, this has four carbons, so it's butyl. But that, this is different. The second carbon is connected. The difference between these two, this first carbon connected to the, the part, other part has one neighbor carbons. This carbon has one neighbor carbon right now. So this is uh, called a primary carbon. This carbon, number two carbon here, has two neighbor carbons. Number one carbon, number three carbon, and something else. So that carbon is a secondary carbon. We call that secondary carbon, and this is secondary butyl. Secondary butyl, and in short, the sec butyl. Okay, next, look here, four carbon, it's a butyl. But what kind of butyl is this? The connection carbon here has one, two, three neighbor carbons. So the carbon is a tertiary carbon. Tertiary carbon, tertiary, we call third butyl. So any branch that has this shape, okay, it's bulky with carbon has four, uh, carbon has three CH3, three neighbors, we call tertiary carbon, this is tertiary butyl. Let's look at the next one, that here, one, two, three, four, this is another butyl. What kind of butyl is this? Right now, it ends with Y shape at the end. This is isobutyl. And there is no hyphen. This is one word. This is connected. So that's isobutyl. This is I word. Third butyl, sec butyl, M butyl, N propyl. That hyphen words are not part of the main root name. So this is isopropyl I word. N butyl is B word. Sec butyl is B word. T butyl is Third butyl or T butyl. T butyl is B word. Isobutyl is I word. Okay. Next, cycloarcanes. Cycloarcanes uh, have formula of CNH2N. Instead of the alkane has CNH2N plus two. So the cycloarcanes have two lists. CNH2N, two less hydrogens, sacrificing those two hydrogens, they make a ring. Okay. Instead of two hydrogen bond, CH bond, two CH bond, the carbons connected itself and then two hydrogens are gone. So it has 2NH2N general formula. So for cyclopropane means three carbon and there will be 6H. 4 carbon, CH, uh, H4, sorry, C4H8, and pentane, C5H10, C6H12, C7H14. Okay. That is the structure of formula, and this one is connected as uh, some C and H2N. So let's look hex like chlorhexane. One, two, three, four, five, six carbon with twelve hydrogens. Line formula, skeletal formula, that's triangle, square, and this is pentagon, hexagon, heptagon. That's heptagon. And uh, you can draw. It's uh, CH2. So there are 3 CH2, 4 CH2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 CH2, 
this one there will be n minus 3 CH2. This is in general, so, but don't worry about these. Okay, there, there are cycloalkanes. They are still alkanes. Alkanes have only carbon single bond. Carbon, carbon single bond. Okay, let's move to the next page and learn how to name. So now we're going to learn about the IUPAC naming. There's a golden rule. The okay, rule for naming, number one, these three rules, you should apply these three rules in, a row, uh, in order and all chemical compounds, organic compounds, follow this rule. And this is the official legal uh, chemical name. It's not common name. Sometimes, even if it's official, uh, the naming nomenclature adopts sometimes common names too. Okay. The first rule is find, this is a step, find the longest chain. I mean carbon chain. Okay, it's organic. So you have to number the carbon and find the longest chain and circle it. Circle compound, the longest chain. Number two, numbering. We got a number carbon from left to right or right to left that gives giving a uh, lower number. Lower number preferred. Lower number and choose the numbering. There are only two ways, left to right or right to left, because we have longest chain. Number three, branch. So you find the longest chain, that's the branch. Okay. You find the longest chain, this is the longest chain, you decide it goes uh, right to left. Then all the others are chains. Okay. So those chains alphabetize branches. So branch alphabetizing. Alphabetize those branches. Put A word first, B word second, okay, P word later. We're going to apply these three rules. Longest chain, numbering, alphabetize. Okay, let's look this. What's the correct name for the following compound? Give the correct name for the following compounds. Here, look, number one. Carbon chain, one, two, three, four, five. Five is pent, and this is alkane. All single bond, this is pentane. Okay. Next, here, we gonna, and I'm going to draw the skeletal line structure. So that's pentane. Here, uh, it's hard to see. So I'll draw first. One, two, three, four carbon connected. One, two, three, four carbon connected. So I'm going to draw that. And then number three carbon has two CH3. So that's the structure. Find the longest chain. Where is the longest chain? That's the longest chain. Okay. Number two, numbering. You can number from left to right. It gives one, two, three, four. Or right to left, one, two, three, four. Right to left gives a smaller number for branch, record, branch location. So if you number from left to right, then this is be three. But right to left, this is two. So two is a smaller number than three, so we prefer two. 
So numbering is done. The last is branch. What branches are there? Number two has methyl group. One carbon branch with methyl group. This one is also 2-methyl. And the longest chain is butane. So counting number of carbon longest chain decides, conclude the last part of the name. This is butane. And number 2 has methyl. Number 2 has methyl. So this is going to be 2-methyl, two 2-methyl two butane. Branch are always in front of the main name and we don't want to repeat okay 2 methyl 2 methyl butane this will be shortened as 2 2 dimethyl butane don't forget uh, there is no space so this must be connected okay. 2, 2, I'm going to write again, 2, 2, dimethyl butane. The IPEC name is one word. There are hyphens between number and uh, letter. And also between numbers, you put comma. So this is 2, 2, dimethyl butane. Instead of 2, methyl, 2, methyl butane there are two di two methyl means dimethyl and both are on number two position two two dimethyl butane next find the longest chain longest chain is one two three four five six six carbon that's the longest chain okay that's the longest chain Step one is done. Step two, numbering. You can number from left to right or right to left. Looks like branches are on right side first. So I'm going to number one, two, three, four, five, six. Six carbon. So that is hexane. That is hexane. And what's the branch number? Uh, step three, branch alphabetize. Um, number two has methyl group. That one. Number two has another methyl group. Here, number three has methyl group. And it's hexane. So how can we shorten the, this branch? There are three methyl groups. We're going to put one word for that so two two three trimethyl hexane okay two two three trimethyl hexane let's look next okay. find the longest chain one two three four five one two three four five 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes. This way is better. 6. I circle the longest chain. And the name numbering. Second step is numbering. 1, 2, 3. 3 methyl, 3 methyl, 4, 5 methyl. Or backward numbering. 1, 2 methyl. So the numbering part, we prefer smaller number at first okay so i'm gonna number this way one two three four five six so this is two methyl uh, six means hexane don't forget write that hexane it ends with hexane uh, two has methyl group four has methyl group And 4 has another methyl group. Methyl. Methyl. Yeah. Don't forget. Methyl. It ends with YL. Okay. Then, altogether, 
two, four, four, trimethyl hexane. That's the correct name. Let's look at the next one. What's the longest chain? I think the longest chain part is that part. All right? Numbering. Numbering starts here because it's going to be four branch starting from this side and one, two, three, four, five, six branch. So I'll number that way. Nine carbon. Nine carbon means no name. So name is no name. Uh, what's the branch? Step three is branch alphabetized. Number four has methyl group. So four methyl, no name. One word. Let's look at number six. Longest chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So six. Either way is fine. When you choose longest chain and there are multiple chains that has the same number of carbons, then uh, try to pick the chain with most branch. Okay? That gives more information than will if 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 they there are same number of carbons, we'll choose the longest chain with most branch. So here we choose the longest chain. How many carbons? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, six. So six is hexane. Second step numbering. We'll number from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not this way because branches are closer to this side. So this is going to be two methyl. That's the methyl. This is also methyl. Three methyl. Hexane. Altogether, two, three, dimethyl. Hexane. Number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think that's the longest chain. Okay. And numbering from right to left because that branch is number two. This way, number four branch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When you number and numbering is done, you cannot change the number in general. You'll find later that some complicated cases for, uh, for naming at the end, these numbers, sometimes the bigger number, larger number comes front. It doesn't matter. Numbering system, numbering is the second step, which is before the branch. Uh, we cannot change. Number is already uh, decided. So this number is done. Eight is obtained. Right? And number two has methyl. And number five has, what is that branch? Number five has one, two, three carbon. Three carbon with Y shape. This is isopropyl. Okay, there are two branches. Then which one comes first? The last step is alphabetize, uh, alphabetizing. I comes before M, so the name is 5-isopropyl-2-methyl. All the time, the letter and number, there will be hyphen, octane. 5-isopropyl-2-methyl. Okay, Octane. Number eight. Okay, find the longest chain. It looks like that's the longest chain. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is no name. Why? Why don't I 
count from left to right. That'll give one, two, three, five, six branch. This will give four, five branch. So numbering is done. What are branches? Four methyl. Number four has methyl group. Number five has one, two, three, four carbon. And the shape is Y at the end. So this is iso four carbon butyl. Okay. So the name is branches are here. Methyl isobutyl. I word comes first. I five isobutyl four methyl. No name. One word. Okay. Let's look next. Number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's the longest chain. Okay. And you count the number one, two, so left. Let's count this way. Then you'll have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, you count from left to right. Branches are two, four, five, six, seven, nine. If you count from right to left, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. So left to right, right to left, it has same numbering. So we don't know which one is good or not. Okay. Yet, both are okay. There's no difference so far. Okay, so I'll just pick one. This eight is that. 10 carbon. 10 carbon is decane. Then what are the branches? Number 2 has methyl, 2 methyl. 4 has 1, 2 carbon is ethyl. Number 5 has 1, 2, 3, 4. Butyl with this, this carbon is tertiary carbon. So this is tert, butyl. And six has methyl, seven has methyl, nine has methyl. So there are six branches. Which one comes first? Okay, among all three. This is M word, M word, M word, M word, E word. That's not T word, this is B word, okay? This is butyl. So, the order of name, that will come first, maybe. And then ethyl is E word. Then this will come together. So, the name of this compound is 5 tert butyl 4 ethyl 2, 6, 7, 9, 4 methyl group. So that's tetra methyl and it's decane. Decane. B word, E word, M word, and the root. Decane. Root name. So we can name any alkanes, even it's long, there's no problem. So there's a now last check that this 5, 4, 2, 6, 7, 9 is fine. If we count from left to right, will there be a difference? Then left to right, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you do it counting left from right, it's going to be 6 tert 
butyl ethyl group is 7 ethyl and then 2 4 5 9 tetrametal decane so you have two names which one preferred keto smallest number in front is preferred at that time okay so that's preferred number this is not okay don't worry about these the first number so that's a kind of confusing part then do we, the larger number comes first then it sounds weird but only in case left to side uh, left to right right to left has the same system okay the numbering part is the second step usually numbering is done and you cannot change the numbers but left to right right to left both have same number then you go uh, check alphabetize prefer smaller number okay let's look number 10 number 10 is here with 8 carbon that's the longest chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Okay, sorry, uh, there was a visitor. Uh, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and uh, two methyl, three methyl, four ethyl, five propyl. This is methyl. And number eight is octane, right? So then look, E first, then M, then P. So four ethyl, then M, two, three dimethyl. Again, this di tells just the number, one more number. So this is not part of the num alphabet system. This is M word and then five propyl p word obtain okay next find the longest chain means carbon chain if there are hetero atoms the chain is done that's the end of the chain so here longest chain is this and that's the branch. Branches count the number, uh, count the carbon, one, two, three, one, two, three, and we'll output number from here because that has one branch. Number Carbon number one has branch. So three carbon is propane, right? And then this is one methoxy. There are other names calling methyl, F, propyl, ether. Uh, that's a common name. When you have COC bond, it's called ether. The left side is propyl, right side is methyl. M comes before P, so we have methyl, propyl, ether as a common name. It has two space so it's common name one word is iopic name so that's official name this is common name both okay so look here that's the longest chain one two three so this is propane and uh, number two has methoxy so it's two methoxy propane or COC is an ether so we'll have ether name 
the left side is methyl, right side is isopropyl, so isopropyl I word comes first, and then methyl ether. So this is IOPIC name, that is common name. Okay. Let's do next. That's the longest chain with one, two, three, four, five. That gives number two branch. So this is two methoxy, three chloro, and there's one more three chloro. We're going to combine and at the the root name is pentane, five carbon. Then we'll combine this. C comes before M, so three, three, dichloro, two, methoxy, pentane. Right? Next, 14. Longest chain is this. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is cyclohexane. Six carbon means hexane, and it's a ring, so it's cyclohexane. One, two, three, four, and there's butyl group. Normal butyl group is a branch, so it's N butyl cyclohexane. When you look at this, longest chain is not the ring. This is the longest chain. That's a branch. Longest chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's hexane. And that number one carbon has uh, one, two, three, four. Cyclobutyl. Cyclobutyl group. One cyclobutyl hexane. I didn't write number here because there's no difference between one butyl, two butyl, three butyl. Okay. There's only one mono substitution, so numbering is not important. Six butyl and one butyl cyclohexane, six butyl cyclohexane, they are same compound, so no meaning for the numbering. But here, number is important because the cyclobutyl is on number one carbon. If we, I don't write this, number two cyclobutyl is different. Three cyclobutyl is different, so the number is important. So I didn't uh, yeah, omit that number. But find the longest chain, all the other parts are branches. And let's look at the next page here. So next page, the carbon, single bonded carbon, is here. And it's sp3 hybridized, 109 degree angle, tetrahedral structure. Okay. The carbon with no neighbor carbon, we call this naked carbon. No neighbor carbon. The carbon with one neighbor, this all means alkyl, which is connected to another carbon, then we call this primary carbon. This carbon has two neighbor carbons, so it's secondary carbon. That's tertiary carbon. So this is primary alkyl halide, secondary alkyl halide, tertiary alkyl halide. It depends on the carbon. If it's the halogen is attached to tertiary carbon, then it's tertiary alkyl halide. And we can use now uh, halogens for naming here. Find the longest chain. Choose. It looks like right to left has a smaller number. Five, six, seven. Seven means heptane. Right? And then two chloro with five methyl. Two chloro, five methyl. Then which one comes first? C comes before M. So two chloro, five methyl, heptane. 
answer. Let's look at next one. What's the longest chain? One, two, three, four. Okay. Or one, two, three, four. You gotta include the important functional group as part of the longest chain. You have this one, two, three, four longest chain. Then that is not connected to the main chain. The iodide halogen is not connected to the main chain. So I'm gonna choose that for number four. Four carbon and one, two, three, four. This way is butane and we can get this halogen branch information immediately. It's one IO dough. Number two has methyl. Another two methyl. So what is the name? I comes before M. So one IO dough. Two, two, dimethyl and butane. Okay, include that. Include important one as a part of the chain. Here, the longest is this six carbon. It's cyclohexane. Six is hexane. It's ring, so it's cyclohexane. And that is a bromo group. And is it number one or two? There is no difference between 1 bromo, 2 bromo, 5 bromo, 6 bromo. This is just bromo. Unnecessary information. You don't need to write that unnecessary information in names. And you try to shorten as much as possible, like dimethyl instead of 2 methyl, 2 methyl, 2 to dimethyl. Let's look at the next one. That looks like the longest chain with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is. Pentane. Branches 3 chloro, 3 methyl. Which one comes first? C word. 3 chloro, 3 methyl. Pentane. Next. Uh, so that is, this is the longest chain, and it has 1, 2, 3. 2 IO do, 2 methyl propane is diopen name. But there is other common name that the whole halogen is independent and all the other part. This is well known. Special cases. This is third butyl group. So we can say instead of 2 IO do, 2 methyl propane, we can say third butyl iodide. You put IDE at the end of the halogen and that is independent uh, functional group name. Halide, fluoride, chloride, bromide, iodide. Okay, so this is ethyl, this is ethyl chloride. That's a common name with space. What's the real name? Was the real uh, the IOPEC name? Longest chain, one, two, one chloroethane. That's the IOPEC name. We can also call ethyl chloride. So that's the common name. Last, last three. Let's look this. That's the longest chain. Okay. So it's cyclopentane. Then we need numbering. Numbering, we prefer smaller number. If this is number one, then one, two, three, four. If this is number one, then one, two, four. If this is number one, one, two, three, four. One, two, four. If this is number one, one, three, five. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. So which one is better? Yeah, one, two, four is better. Okay, then that's number one, two, three, four, five. In case of cyclic compound, there are two ways to go, clockwise, counterclockwise. Longest chain, left to right, right to left. But cyclic compound, clockwise, counterclockwise. So let's uh, see, this is the numbering, then it's going to be one fluoro, so one fluoro, fluoro, 
two methyl and four methyl. In this, yeah, yeah, that case. If you count that as number one, that is going to be one methyl, two fluoro, four fluoro. Methyl comes after fluorine, fluoro, F comes first. We prefer one fluoro over one methyl. Okay. So this is correct. Uh, fluorine comes first. This is four fluoro. Fluoro. One fluoro, four fluoro, two methyl. So one, four, difluoro, two, methyl, cyclopentane. Okay, next, longest chain, numbering, one, two, three, four, five. So that is pentane, two, iodo, three, ethyl, which comes first. E comes first, so 3-ethyl, 2-IO, pentane. Last one. It's cyclohexane. Okay. It's cyclohexane. Numbering. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. Or one, two, four. Or one, two, five. This way has the smallest number. One, chloro. Two, bromo. Four, methyl. Branch alphabetized. Two, bromo. B word. One, chloro and 4 methyl cyclohexane I hope this helps uh, practice 2 will be followed see you in the class